ребят. Let's go give grandson of Jumpy the bold spider is <coughs> in here. A new place to live. Gee, we've got a little more rain too. Ain't that something? Come on. Come. Come on. You guys were bitching I wasn't doing enough for the spiders, so now you can fucking well help. It's not good enough to just bitch. It's not even good enough to just suggest viable alternatives. You actually have to do something. Yeah, this looks like a good place. Okay, you ready there, Jumpy? And hopefully, you won't get eaten with this, by this bird. Hey, you little fake. Let everyone have a look at you. see a fucking thing on this crappy fucking viewfinder. I swear it's getting worse every time I attempt to use it. Okay, ready to meet your new home? Try not to get eaten by them birds. And don't fight with your relatives that I've been putting in the bush here. Cool? Alright. Now just remember when you're many, many, many more that whilst I foolishly killed your kind in the beginning, I learned from my mistakes. Let us fight no more. Okay, ready? There you go, Jumpy. Come on, get out. Come on! Oh, you're there somewhere. Where'd you go? Well, anyhow, I did my best to give you another chance. Now remember, tell your kids to stay out of my house. Yes, because, you know, <clears throat> describing and recognizing a problem is only the first step. Yes. <clears throat> and if you discover in that process that it's way big, too big for you to handle, well, then I guess you best share your findings with others and see if they don't a worthy cause that needs attention in your efforts. You know, there's only one real way to lead, and that's by example. And if that example means reaching out to others, well, then that's what you do. Not as a leader of usury and exploitation and subjugation like this unsustainable crap that you guys have been doing for 8,000 years or so. 
I think it's fairly safe to say by now. Um, it never really did work unless you call disabling your species potential at great expense to all the other species on my earth. Doing it, I, I don't really think you do call that working for you. So, um, I kind of think a new way may be in order. Some sort of a slight improvement that doesn't disable you all. Because, you know, it's funny, that's what I saw. Right from the first moment of being in groups of people outside of the <coughs> inherent subjugations in a family. As soon as you got into crowds, each individual quit thinking for themselves. And rather their attention would be focused on adhering all responsibility, motivation, and direction to a leader. Whether there was a teacher or the most aggressive sociopathic kid in the class or whatever, you know? And it didn't take long. Some of them within months, some of them within a year and a half, three years maximum, by and large. Everybody found their little place to be far less than they were individually as a collective. See, that's that there is part of the human condition. Other animals of social behavior, other mammals, they, they don't seem to share that problem. <clears throat> it's more like, um, the idea, the, the task, the problem to be resolved at hand by the group, that seems to lead. Although, they're not immune from it. I've learned that much watching you guys. At any rate, they're in. Please. One of the first stumbling blocks of the species to start living up to its collective individual potential. Hey there. I'll leave it at that. I just wanted to... Here, let's see if this will work. Quick the, uh, uh... Finish off for the March Against Monsanto series, because I never even did get a shot of my shirt here. Let's see if I can just... Uh, real quick. You know, just imagine if you all picked up a shirt like this, uh, made your own, it's just a white shirt and permanent felt markers, or you all bought one at your nearest customize your own t-shirt shop or uh, that March on Monsanto site, I'll put the link down there under more information. It, uh, <coughs> there we go, I think I'm in the picture. I think they were selling shirts, although maybe that was just for the march to try and pay some costs. But go there anyhow. There's the link. And um, just imagine if y'all that don't like to, you know, say things or confront people or bother the already busy grocery store clerk or whatever. Just imagine if if you all wore a shirt that said no GMO that you had in your shopping, your renewable shopping bag, bags and um, wore it, pulled it out and put it on whenever you went grocery shopping. Okay? Just imagine wearing these in the store. Wouldn't that do something for you? 
Okay. Wouldn't that send the message? Never mind those TV commercials that put all these problems that could only be resolved by buying the product into the subliminals of people's minds. That's basically the, the gist of advertising. It's not about helping make informed decisions with product information. That kind of went out of fashion, I don't know, 15 years ago. It became a taboo in the great social conditionings of things, social engineering. So let's social re-engineer everything back to default. Put on your no GMO, I'm going grocery shopping shirts. Put them on, wear them while you go shop, and then you can take it off after, because you don't want anyone to, at work to know that you actually are a concerned sentient being. I mean, you know, there's no place in any corporation for those. Being concerned about your own existence and survival and that of your children, let alone that of your neighbors, eh? Let everyone see your shirt as your grocery shop, and that will help counteract and undo the TV commercial programmings where they stick this poison into the shopping basket. And don't even read about it, don't even think about it. Just wear your no GMO shirt. Won't you do that? Won't you do that for your own gut? Because, like, they're trekking everything up. The gist of this scam. It's not just that it meets Agenda 21 as why it happens. The gist of it is monopolization. Okay. If my GMO pollen, whatever we'll call this mustard seed, <sighs> blows onto tomato kings, pretend those tomato plants are actually uh, his uh, heritage mustard seed that is folks had grown in Punjab for centuries and he brought over and was growing here. Now my Monsanto GMO mustard seed pollen went and infected all his. Now he can't sell it in a non-GMO market such as Europe where they've come to their senses. So, well, slightly on that one thing. It was kind of give them breadcrumbs and we'll kill them with soft kill in other ways. <clears throat> well, really, they've already got it in from Chernobyl. Their soft kill is already <clears throat> in the genetic soul oven, as they say. But his seeds are cooked. Even though he never patented it, he has intellectual rights to his heritage seeds that his family protected for protected and, and, and reproduced for generations well there are that's screwed but wait it gets it gets worse when I catch him doing this by genetically sampling some of his mustard seeds, well, that's it. Um, you've infringed on my patent. I've got an army of free lawyers, and I'm suing you. You got your lawyers? You got your money that's worth more than the farm to put up to retain your team of lawyers just to get started on this thing? And in the meantime, I'm going to hit you with injunction after injunction, force you out of business, and when you're done, ha, ha, I'm picking that fucking land up for nothing. Because I've done the same trick on all the other neighbors, so... Any that had a little bit of money or credit available. Because that's how farms generally go in North America. Or used to go. Um, you know, they're out of business and then I buy up their farm and now I'm double the size. Only Monsanto does it all. And Hell, if it's just a job and you're just a corporate figure, well, you don't fucking care. You, know, you don't care about anything other than your job. You don't care about that dead land that you're uh, going to give to your kid. 
that, that you're going to entice your son to, and grandson or daughter to uh, work really hard and stay on the farm and forsake the <coughs> lovely city life. Gag, puke, fart. Um, to pick up the trade and keep the family farm going. Well, fuck, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to the farm across the valley. They're going to pay me a buck more hour, an hour. I don't fucking care. I don't care what happens to the land. In fact, I hope they go broke. That's corporate farming. That's, well, that's the corporate attitude to everything. I'm just another corporate fixture now. I have no responsibilities, no obligations, no liabilities. No common sense. Nothing. I'm just an incompetent, mindless fixture of this corporate entity. Yeah, well, you get it. Hey, Bear. Any, any dog wisdom to add? There really were quite a few dogs there, wasn't there? Yes. They did a pretty good job of bringing the humans out. Didn't they? He's well rested up now. <sighs> eh, me not so. I'm... <clears throat> in nowhere near the shape. Well, hey. We'll just, uh, leave it at that. Use the shirt. Tell others, others to use the shirt. If you can't even put on a, a fucking slightly embarrassing, but actually it should be something you should be proud of to be able to stand up, even if just with a shirt, a little bit of personal advertising. If you can't even fucking do that, you're fucking hopeless. You're 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 out of balance. If you can't even muster up that kind of fucking courage to stand up and say something. A shirt and a felt marker or a paint brush. You got that? No GMO. No. GMO. Hey, you got that? If you can't even muster up that, you're fucking hopeless. You can empower these corporations to destroy my their life, life matrix. Destroy all the souls. That's the genetic integrity. That that's that that's what the term souls means. I've gone over all your cultures that I could get my hands on. Boil down your belief systems and where you first used words like soul, such as soul. That's what it is. That You didn't understand when it was told to your ancestors because you were a bunch of illiterates. But the people that came to sprout you and nurture you and, and cultivate you, they knew. And, and people... And, Machines is what they really were, mostly. But um, <clears throat> so, if you can't even do that little bit of putting on a shirt every time you go into grocery shop, you're a fucking good riddance. Good fucking riddance. We don't need trash like you with your naive little. Child is speaking. I do about it other than not even bother to look on the label and 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 support Monsanto so it can become the monopoly. You're fucking pathetic. There is no fucking place. You're out of balance. You're a danger to the rest of the life. Good fucking riddance. We can't see your extinction soon enough. If you can't do one little thing like that, you're fucking pathetic. Worthless garbage. Your nutcases. Your your an abomination. Contributing to your own desolation as well as that of all the other life forms. Okay, much love. I think you understand what I'm saying, right? I'm not saying it to make you feel fucking bad, I'm saying it to make you fucking survive.